Ladies and gentlemen, today is a very special day. It's more than just a wedding celebration. It's a bonding of two souls dedicated to the protection of our Robotech colony. I would like now to introduce the man who consented to this special occasion, the guest of honor, Captain Henry J. Glovall. Well, to begin with, I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to Max and Miria, for this wedding carries with it a great historical significance. As you all know, Miria was a Zentradi warrior who destroyed many of our own ships. She comes from a culture that we have grown to fear and hate. Oh, no. Clearly, it uh -oh. is the Zentradi who have caused our present situation. They alone prevent our return to Earth, our homes, and our beloved families. It is they who have caused injury, destruction, and endless suffering. Captain, please. Captain. Now, I know what you are thinking. Why is he choosing this time to remind us of these terrible things? I remind you of these brutal acts, ladies and gentlemen, because we must learn to forgive our enemies. We do not forgive blindly or out of ignorance, but because we are a strong and willing nation. We cannot blame the Zentradi for this inexplicable lust for war. They have never known another way of life, and it is their only means of survival. Nor can we condemn the individuals of that society for the mass insanity of their war machine. Instead, we must look to their good nature. Now, some have made a request to stop the fighting, and I believe it is a genuine request. We must respond with equal integrity. The blood of both these young people was tested before the ceremonies, and Thradi blood was found to be exactly the same as human blood. There is no reason why we cannot coexist in peace, so let this occasion represent a future where all people live in harmony. Yeah! Please, allow me to speak just a moment longer. What a leader of men! Captain Glovall is a man of peace, there's no doubt. Who wants peace? I am sure there are those who have lost loved ones during the war and cannot help harboring ill feelings for the Zentradi. But somehow we must overcome these feelings. We must stop this senseless destruction. Ah, uh, he's crazy. Them. I can't understand Glovel talking about peace at a time like this. Father, it's the only way to avoid our own destruction. If we don't start talking peace, it will mean the end of the world, and not even you would want that. Lisa... I'm sorry, Father, but you must stop the Grand Cannon operation immediately. It's too late to do anything about that now. Each and every citizen must develop a responsible attitude toward the prospect of peace. We must learn from our mistakes to live with different people, different nations. Think of the challenge. I am not proposing laying down our arms, but extending them in friendship, so that if there is a chance of a peaceful solution, we can find it together, as these young people have done. The Zentradi are a strong and intelligent people. Therefore, let this act here today stand as a symbol of our approval. We must follow their example. They are the heroes of today. May they have a long and prosperous man. Hooray for Zentradi, our friend! Hail Captain Global! <laughs> peace between our people. Long live the captain. Long live the Zentradi. Long live peace. 